Hello, it's really good to see you. Today we are going to take a look at some of the presents that I have bought for my kids for Christmas. Um, several people have asked me, you know, if you show the presents on here to your kids, go on and look at it. They absolutely do not. Uh, they, they don't ever watch my videos. They, they, they even know that at some point I'm going to make this video, but they never, they never, they never look at anything I make. So, um, I'm not worried about it. They're not going to see it. Um, so some of the things that I have purchased, I have ordered and they have not come yet. So we're just going to be looking at the stuff that I have now. And, um, one of the things that I did get is not something I can actually show you. Um, and they already know about it, but I, um, bought, uh, season passes to Carowinds for the three of us for 2018 and that was like part of their Christmas uh, Christmas presents um, and they were really happy about that so we're looking forward to being able to go next year to Carowinds um, so that was pretty cool I bought them when the season passes were on sale and um, so that was part of it but I can't show you that Another thing that they asked for, and this is the first year this has happened, where they asked for a joint present, like, you know, one thing together. Um, and they, they said they were willing to get less stuff in order to have it. And I played coy and said, well, we'll see, you know, maybe, maybe you'll get it, maybe, maybe not. So they're not sure <laughs> if they're going to get it or not. I said, you're just going to have to wait. Well, this is it, and it's heavy. <laughs> it is an Xbox One, um, and it's not, it's nothing fancy. It's just the standard 500 gig uh, Xbox. We have an Xbox 360 that we've had for several years, um, and they've just, they've just been asking for Xbox One. So, and they were both willing to get less stuff in order to get this joint present. So this is for both of them. I'm actually going to wrap it up and hide it. I'm not going to put it under the tree. I'm going to let them find it. I was actually thinking about doing this thing that I, I did for my older son once for something he wanted. Um, and I must have made it, I made him go on kind of a, a little, not a scavenger hunt, but like they would start with one clue and then they have to go find that thing and then there's another clue there and then they have to go to another part of the house like they have to follow the clues to find their present I'm kind of thinking about doing that with the Xbox just because they my older son still talks about it he thought that was really funny that <laughs> he had to he had to go on this round and round thing through the house to find his present <laughs> and it ended it ends up that I what I did the first clue was in his sock drawer and the actual present was kind of small, so I just put it in the back of the sock drawer. So it was there the whole time. <laughs> he just didn't, he didn't dig back there because once he saw the little piece of paper, he read that. And then, you know, I, I sent him all over the house. <laughs> and then he ended up coming back to the sock drawer. I think it was an MP3 player or something. <laughs> he thought that was funny. <laughs> so I may do that with, with the Xbox. And, um... I actually got the Xbox uh, from Costco and part of the bundle deal was with with the bundle deal you also get an additional controller which I was gonna have to buy anyway because it only comes with one so I uh, got the bundle that came with the second controller so that is for that's gonna go with it and then it also has a three-month uh, Xbox Live pass that comes with the bundle so and they've never had xbox live before um just for some reason that we've never done that and i also purchased from costco this is my confirmation i'm gonna i'm trying to keep everything together i have a confirmation email where i have purchased an, another additional 12 months of xbox live so that's all gonna go together and i'm just gonna uh, kind of wrap all that together. I'm just going to put it like in one box and then I think I am going to send them kind of on a wild goose chase to find it <laughs> But that will be the last thing I'm going to have them open their other presents and then we're going to do that So I have to figure out I have to figure out where I want them to go 
so that's going to be later. But over here, um, I have I actually have a laundry basket full of presents to show you. <laughs> I've just been rounding them up and putting them in the basket. One of the things that I'll have to work on is stockings. And I have our three stockings here. And I will actually hang these up later. I don't have them hanging up right now. Um, but I will hang them up and fill the stockings before Christmas morning. They're actually not going to be here this year on Christmas morning. So um, it'll be the first time they haven't been with me on Christmas morning in a while. That's going to be that's going to be uh, different, but it's okay. I'll have them later in the day. But this is my older son's stocking. He likes camouflage and pockets. So when I saw this stocking, I had to get it for him. It has um, <clears throat> a little flap here with uh, Velcro holding it closed. And I always put something little in here like a little matchbox car or some candy or, or something in there. And the back is just camouflage and it's some, it's a fleece material. It's really soft. So that's his. This is my stocking here. See, it's, it's this velvety material and it has these little sparkly silver sequins on it. And at the top we have these embroidered silver snowflakes. One little one there and there and then a big one in the middle. And then the back is just plain. Just this lovely dark red velvet. And my younger son loved, loved trains. I mean, he was obsessed with trains for about three years. or Three or four years, he was just completely obsessed with trains. He's kind of gotten over that. Um, but he still has his train stocking. <clears throat> I asked him if he wanted a new stocking. He said, no, I still like this one. So we're going to keep using it. And it has a little train track that goes down and around. And down at the bottom, we have Santa and his little blue train. He's lost his car. It's way back here. <laughs> so um, that's his stocking. So I have to find stuff to put in their stockings. And usually, um, I put a lot of candy in there. I, I give them so much candy at Christmas. It's kind of like Halloween and Christmas, I don't care. You know, you, you can pig out on candy. It's I'm not going to sit here and fuss at you as long as you don't get sick. You know, I, I will indulge them. I will buy them the kinds of candies and things that they like. And one of the things I got was, uh, this is for my younger son. These are just plain M&M's. Just the milk chocolate M&M's. It is uh, a 3.1 ounce container. So this will go in his stocking. That is for him. Oh, this is also for him. He loves Fun Dip and occasionally he uses uh, lip balm. So when I saw Fun Dip uh, flavored or scented lip balm, I had to get it. This is uh, like grape flavored Fun Dip. See? <laughs> uh, it's probably Got an interesting taste. And it says on the back, smiles you can taste. <laughs> so we have flavored lip balm. That will go in his stocking. I just look for little things like that. <clears throat> oh, I had more stuff up the stairs. I forgot. Um, A couple more things I got to go in their stockings. I found these little Lego sets at Walmart. Um... And they were on the end of an aisle. They were on this little strip on the end of the aisle. And there were only a few left. But they were Lego sets of Santa Claus. It was a little, you could make a little Santa Claus. And I think you could also use the pieces to make like two elves and a little workbench or something. You could do either or. You can make Santa or the elves. Um, and I thought they were really cool. I think they were $10. But when I went by there, they only had a few left. Um... And I went in a different Walmart this morning, and they didn't have any. So I'm thinking that was just like a limited little thing they had there. So I'm really glad I saw them. So those, and they're not big at all. And those are probably going to go in their stockings as well. I meant to bring them down. I actually left them upstairs. And I got them each a slinky, a real metal slinky. <laughs> That'll probably go in their stocking. And this is another thing that we get every year. 
Um, well, I get this for them every single year. These little Hershey's uh, things. And you see they look like M&M's. Personally, I don't see how they get away with them. I imagine M&M... Uh, m m Mars would try to sue them for, you know, copying them, but I guess it's just different enough in some way. Uh, it's called Hershey Etts, and it's basically, they're just m ms but they're made with Hershey's chocolate. You see this, like a little candy cane, and this part actually comes off. Um, you can just, you can cut the uh, wrapper here, and it just twists right off. But I put this in their stockings last so that when it's hanging, this little part here sticks out the top of the um, stocking. So they each gets Hershey Etts every year. It's like a little tradition. If they didn't get them, they probably wonder where they were. Um, this is for my older son. I, you know, my older son is 12, and it's it's... It's getting difficult to find things to get for him because he's just, it's kind of at that age where it's, it's just difficult. You know, when he was younger, it was so easy. You know, I, I had no trouble finding things for him. This year's been a little bit different. But I saw this and I instantly thought that is the perfect stocking stuffer for him. You know, I try to think of things that they would like that are small and that I can put in there. And this is something, he loves beef jerky. He loves this stuff. So I just got some of the uh, Bridgeford original beef jerky. It's not much. It's um, a three and a quarter ounce bag. Very small. But, I mean, it's, it's quite a bit. You know, that's a good little bit of uh, beef jerky. And the bag is resealable. It's like a Ziploc bag. So you just tear it across the top. And then you have some, and then you just seal it, just like any other Ziploc bag. So I may have to, I'll have to kind of fold it a little bit to fit it in there, but I'll get it in there. Um, and these are some things that I actually showed you in an Aldi haul. So these are not, uh, these are not new things. Um, sorry, I have a thing that's causing me trouble. All right. These are chocolate coins that I got at Aldi. And I got them when they first put them out because I think it was last year. They had some of these and they sold them all and they didn't get any more and I was not able to get any. And these are made in Italy, I believe. I think this is actually from Italy. Yeah, they're made in Italy. Now the silver ones are white chocolate. And the gold ones are milk chocolate. So what I'll do for each of them, I will just take half of each and just drop them down in the toe of their stocking. Right in the toe, because that area is kind of hard to fill. So I just take little candies like these, or some years I might buy Hershey's Kisses or something like that. Or uh, Kit Kat bars. They both love the little miniature Kit Kats. I'll stick those down in there. But this year we're going with chocolate coins. I was going to do it last year, but like I said, they sold them all. So these are going in the toes of their stockings. And a few of them will probably go in my tummy while I'm putting them in the toes of their stockings, but they won't miss them. Um, this, is a little, this is loud. Oh, I did it upside down. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> these are for my older son. These are Whoppers malted milk balls. He loves these things. I don't like them personally. I, uh, and my younger son doesn't like them. But he loves these things. So it's just a five ounce box of Whoppers. Um, original malted milk balls. And these, this is just a little inexpensive thing that I can stick in his stocking and take up some room. Because some years I have a, real, a really hard time finding things for their stockings. 
And some years I have so much it won't all fit. And I'm thinking by the time I'm done, this is going to be a year where I have too much stuff for their stockings. When that happens, I actually, um, see normally I'll put the stockings on a hook. You know, you hang the stockings. If they're over full, I will just actually just kind of prop them up on the couch and let the stuff kind of spill over on, you know, onto the couch beside the stocking. So it's, I put one on one side of the couch and one on the other side of the couch. So it's very clear. This is one person's stuff. This is the other person's stuff. So that way, if it won't all fit, it's okay. Just sort of group it around the stocking. <laughs> um, and there's more stocking stuff or stuff in here, but I haven't gotten to it yet. Before I show you this, let me show you, um, this is something I picked up today for myself just because I thought it was cute and I wanted to show you. Look at these adorable little earrings. They look like little Christmas trees and they're so lightweight. Oh, they're super lightweight and they were only $3 for these little Christmas tree earrings. And I thought this would be perfect for Lynette, like if she has to dress up for something. See, she could wear these, and I'm probably going to wear them to work. Um, we have a, a party at work. We have this little holiday party. And I'm thinking I'm going to wear my um, the dress I got for Lynette. I'm going to wear that. And some shoes that I'm going to show you later in a Goodwill haul, because I went to Goodwill today and I found some great stuff. I want to show you what I got. Got a lot of jewelry. Oh my god. Um, should have waited and shown you this th at that time, but I got the perfect pair of shoes to go with that dress. Oh, they're they're perfect. They're absolutely perfect. That's that's neither here nor there. I'll get into that later in a different video. But on the tops of these trees, there's a little glittery star. And it's like they're made out of little pom-pom balls and little beads for ornaments. Very cute and very lightweight. So those are mine. And I got this. <clears throat> and the, the earrings were $3. And this was also $3. Look at this. I mean, it's, it's very cheaply made, but I don't care. It's just a little gold chain with little ornaments on it. How cute. See, I could wear that with the dress, too. With my little Christmas earrings, I think that'd be perfect. And the shoes I found today, oh my god, they're they're wonderful. <laughs> so, I got this little necklace. We have the red ornaments, green, and then one more red at the bottom. And it's it's not heavy either, it's very light. I guess the chain's made out of aluminum or something, it's very, very lightweight. Okay. Now we have some actual presents, and there are some more stocking stuffers. We'll, we'll look at that. Now these are for my younger son, who loves Five Nights at Freddy's, which is a video game. And I am very familiar with the backstory and the, the you know, the, the roots and the, you know, the beginnings of Five Nights at Freddy's. I have heard all I ever wanted to hear in my life about Five Nights at Freddy's because he has an encyclopedic knowledge of Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, and one thing he keeps asking for and has been asking for for I'd say three months are the Five Nights at Freddy's plushies. And just they're stuffed animals. Now he already has several Five Nights at Freddy's plushies, but there are some from the sister location that he wanted. And I found some. And here's one. Actually, this one I just bought today at Walmart. It is uh, from, well, I'll show you this side, the sister location. And um, I don't know, I, I know this is Bonnie. I recognize Bonnie. I guess this is Fun Time Bonnie. Honestly, I don't know. But Bonnie is purple, and this Bonnie is not. This one is pink, and he looks pleasantly surprised all the time. The other one does too. Yeah. That's me at like 4.59. If you bring me a project, I'm going to look at you like that. <laughs> if I'm about ready to walk out the door and you, you need to talk to me, I'm going to look at you like that <laughs> when I'm at work. He has no legs. It's kind of weird. 
and a big red bow tie. So he's really cool. And he has these little red cheeks. And it's just a little embroidered circle there and there. And his eyes are blue and embroidered. And believe it or not, I do believe this is a he. I think. I've had discussions with my son about which ones are he's and she's. And it doesn't always, it's not what you think sometimes. This is Fun Time Foxy. I have heard lots and lots and lots about this guy right here. He is also from the sister location. And he's very soft. He's incredibly soft. And he has a little speaker drain or something right there. It looks like a floor drain. <laughs> Doesn't it? And this big boofy tail with the pink on the on the end of his tail. And very soft ears. Now he appears to be in much better shape than Nightmare Freddy or Nightmare Foxy or Funtom Foxy. No, this is Funtom Foxy. Foxy normally looks messed up, like he has big gashes here, he has a pirate patch, he has like an eye patch, and he just he just looks severely jacked up. This one actually looks pretty good. Um, but anyway, this is Foxy. He's going to be very happy to get that. Um, and there's, there's another one I have that I also just got, and I haven't taken it out of the plastic yet. Those two didn't come in plastic, but this one I had to order on Amazon. And I haven't had this one long either. This is, um, this is Freddy. This is Fun Tom Freddy from this. He's also from the sister location. You see he has a giant black bow tie and a black hat. And little purple spots on his cheeks. And a little puppet on his hand that looks like Bonnie. And he's just plain white with pink here and here. And his hat. And he has purple on his ears as well. I don't know diddly squat about uh, Fun Time Freddy. I just recognize Freddy. And my son can talk to you for hours about it and not even take a breath. He just he gets so excited when he talks about this stuff. I try to listen as best I can, but he usually loses me within a minute or two and I have no idea what he's talking about. Um, this is another thing uh, from the sister location because he keeps talking about the sister location. This is Fun Tom Foxy again, but it's a very small version of Fun Tom Foxy. And it's just a little plastic figurine and you can bend his arms and stuff. And he comes with a prop. He comes with a stage left. And it's almost like a little Lego set. Like, you know, you can put these pieces together and you can get Fun Tom Foxy and Fun Tom Freddy, which is just like the plush that I just showed you. <clears throat> Except this one is a little plastic action figure. But I only got one of these because I think they were $10 each and I thought that was kind of ridiculous. So I just got the one. I didn't get the other one. Um... Now, these are stocking stuffers, and um, I had never seen these before. I just saw these today. I, I just bought these this morning at Walmart, um, and, and these were the only two they had. I don't know where they came from. They were just hanging by themselves up on the peg wall with the uh, Hot Wheels cars, and it might have been the last two they had. I don't know, but it is a, a vehicle that was designed by... Mojang, who makes Minecraft, which Minecraft is another video game if you're not familiar with it. Um, it's very popular with kids and, and adults. And it's a partnership between Mojang and um, Bojang, Mojang and Hot Wheels. And they made these little uh, vehicles. This one looks like a drag racer. Now this one is the Skeleton. And according to the back of the package, there are six of these. We have the Creeper, Enderman, Skeleton, Iron Golem, Spider, and the Zombie. And there is a vehicle for each, which is pretty cool. And it has the pixelated color pattern on the top, just like, uh, you can see how it looks kind of pixelated back here and here. 
the top of the car is the same way, kind of different colors of gray, different shades. And I don't know who's going to get what, so I did get the skeleton, and I also got the zombie, which is a, um, it's a station wagon. It's also very cool. Um, and I had never seen these before today. <clears throat> the front of the car has four headlights. It reminds me of the car that, uh, Del Griffin had in Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. <laughs> it, it looks like the front, <clears throat> the front of that car, if you've seen that movie. It has like one, two, it's four headlights on each side. <laughs> yeah, but, um. I thought it was cool. I don't know. I don't know who's going to get which vehicle. I, I'm just probably just going to throw them in there at random, because what happens a lot of times um, when they open their stockings, they end up trading. Like they'll end up negotiating and trading with each other for things in their stocking. So I don't worry too much about what goes where, because they end up trading a lot of stuff back and forth. So. They work it out amongst themselves. Whatever they want to do is fine with me. <clears throat> as long as it's a trade they both want to do, it's okay. Got this I picked up for my older son. He loves to play Halo, and he also loves Legos. So I saw this Halo set. Now this is from Mega Constructs, which I believe is made by uh, Mega Blocks which is just like Lego. They, they are compatible with Legos. And on the back you can see a picture, another picture of the items that you get in this box. Uh, it's down here it says Banished Ghost Rush. And it's a 90 piece set of Mega Blocks based on the uh, Halo theme. So I just, I thought yeah, that's something he likes. He loves to put together Lego sets. So that's one that I picked up for him. Another thing. Oh, I didn't open that one. Another thing my younger son likes is a video game called Bendy and the Ink Machine. And this is Bendy. This is the character Bendy from Bendy and the Ink Machine. And he really wanted the Bendy plush. So I got him the Bendy plush. And he's this little weird dude who kind of reminds me of Mickey Mouse and Steamboat Willie. That's what he looks like to me. And his little hands even look like Mickey Mouse's hands. He's very soft. He has a tail. I'm actually thinking he's some kind of, he must be some kind of cat. My okay. God. Some kind of weird little cat. I mean, look at his head. <clears throat> He has an enormous, an enormous head. <laughs> Look at it. It's, it's bobbly. It's like a lollipop. <laughs> so I got Bendy for my son. I found him on eBay. I don't think he was a lot, but I couldn't find him in stores anywhere, so I got him on eBay. And he just came in the mail recently. And I just noticed I have a package in here that I did not open. Oh, this has tape on it. Sorry. These I got for my older son also. He likes, um, he's really interested in aircraft and space and science fiction and Star Wars. And I got these little Star Wars figures here. They're very small. Um, we have, I can't pronounce this, the, Mandal the Mandalorian Melee whatever that is. I don't, I don't watch Star Wars. I don't really know anything about it, but, um, these are from Micro Machines. If you were around in the 90s, you probably remember Micro Machines, the little cars. There's their little logo back there. Yeah, apparently, uh, Micro Machines made these Star Wars figurines. So you get two little guys, and you get some aircraft. So, hopefully he'll like that. <clears throat> And then for my younger son, that, I found this at Walmart. I wasn't even going to get this. I happened to walk by there and see it when I was looking at the Christmas jewelry that I got for myself. They had a Five Nights at Freddy's watch. And it was only $5. Now, it probably won't last two months, but look at that. 
It's all of Five Nights at Freddy's Watch. And Freddy's is a pizza joint. See, it has a little pizza thing. It's kind of like Chuck E. Cheese. Only the animatronics go crazy or some, I don't know. Something happens and they, like, murder somebody. I don't know. But it's a little watch. Now, he, he is very proud of himself. He, he can tell time on an analog clock. And I was going to get him a watch. Just, you know, a regular watch with the hour and minute hands. But when I saw that they had a Five Nights at Freddy's watch, I said, I have to get him that. <laughs> um, and it's a digital watch, but I think he'll still like it. It has a flashing charm and a dial watch. That's what it says, flashing charm and dial watch. So, I don't know. Um, yeah, so that's, that's kind of cool. They had Five Nights at Freddy's watches like this. They had cars, uh, transformers. I think they had like uh, Frozen, you know, Elsa and Anna. They had a Frozen watch and they were all five dollars each and it was over with um, the watches and jewelry. So if you have anybody that you want to get something like that for, um, you might check it out. That was at Walmart and I just got that this morning too. <clears throat> I went on a little impromptu shopping trip this morning. <laughs> now this came from Amazon. And when it came in the mail, I was surprised at how small it was. I mean, it's not the full size. It's only the three quarter size, but I still expected it to be bigger. It is a kitty cat clock. And my younger son wanted a kitty cat clock. He specifically asked for it. The kit, the kit cat clock. And this one was more expensive than I would have wanted it to be, but it was less expensive than the full size one. So I went ahead and got the three quarter size Kit Kat clock. And here you can see what it looks like. You've probably seen these before, either in a movie or in real life, where um, his tail is like the pendulum. And as it ticks, his eyes go back and forth like that. <clears throat> I remember when I was in elementary school, our principal had one of these in her office, and it really freaked me out. That clock was so freaky to me. <laughs> I hated that clock. I hated going in there because I always felt like that clock was giving me the evil eye or something. There was just something just really freaky about that clock. Um, <clears throat> oh, and they're celebrating their 85th anniversary. That's pretty cool. Cool. And down here we have a quote, which I could not have agreed with when I was a child. Kit Kat is always uplifting like a visit from a friend. No, that clock was freaky and scary when I was a kid. I didn't like it. Those gigantic eyes going back and forth. I couldn't have it. Um, so I told him he would have to wait and see if he would get a Kit Kat clock for Christmas. And originally I wasn't going to get it. I said, no, I've bought enough. I'm not getting that clock. I broke down and bought it anyway. <laughs> it's really cute. I haven't actually looked at it. Maybe we could do a video where we open the box and look at it. I haven't ever looked at one, like, since I was a kid. It might be good therapy for me to look at it. I don't know. <clears throat> so that is the Kit Kat clock. Okay. <clears throat> now this is for my older son, and I got this on Wish. Um, it's the app where you can buy things. It's very addictive. Oh, stay off there. Because <laughs> once you get on there, it's hard to get, get off. It's just, I kept finding things. I have no earthly idea what this is. <clears throat> this is, um, these are gauntlet gloves. My son and I were looking at them together on the app. And it's like a, um, it's a gauntlet glove. He's really big into, um, I, I don't even know what you call it, like cosplay. He likes anime. He likes all kinds of weird things. I, don't tell him I said it's weird, but I don't understand it. But you get this thing here. Now, this is made of, it's almost like some kind of rubber or plastic. I'm not really sure. It's, it's flexible. I'm not exactly sure what it's made of. And then you have this part, which has 
I don't even know how this works exactly. Um, so you have the straps here that go over your arm and they're adjustable. They have uh, Velcro. And this little, it's not really all that pointy. This little plastic sword thing here. I think you're supposed to be able to pull it out or something. I'm not going to mess with it, but I think you put one on one arm and then one on the other arm. And then there's this little piece that you can actually clip on there somehow. I don't know. <laughs> but we were looking at this and he said he would really like to have it and it was really cheap. I don't remember how much it was, but it was really cheap. So I said, okay. And another thing I have ordered for him um, is, and this was this was more expensive than I would have liked. Also, it was some um, this really this really nice thick Overwatch hoodie, which I think Overwatch is a video game or something. I'm honestly not sure, but I've ordered him a really nice Overwatch hoodie that has not come yet. I'm thinking it was almost fifty dollars. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, so. This is part of my older son's presents. Um, oh, I dropped it. I found these at CVS, and they're the, I've never seen these anywhere else. This is the neatest thing. Now, it's a pen. It's just a little plastic pen. It kind of matches my nail polish. <laughs> I didn't plan it that way. But on the top, it has this little spinner. And it is so incredibly smooth. The ball bearings in there are just, it's perfect. It's called, uh, it's just called Incology Spinner Pen. So you could just hold it and spin it. I found these at CVS. I think they were like $5 each. And it's, see it's a retractable pen. You just push the top. Got a red one and a black one. And um, these are going to go in their stockings. I should have gotten a third one. I should have just gotten one to play with. But they're very, they're very smooth. So I thought these were really, really cool little pins. So I'll probably give this one to my older son. This one's my younger son. I just thought, I, I've actually had these. This was, these were, I think these were the first official kind of Christmas presents I bought this year. I got these back in October when I was at CVS one day. And I thought, mm, I'm going to save those for stocking stuffers. And I did. <clears throat> Here is a, a Lego set. And I have two Lego sets. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them yet. I'm going to wait and see how many presents I have for each. And one kid may get both of these, I don't know. This is a Lego City set. And what set is it? 60148 ATV Race Team. And it comes with 239 pieces. And you see we can make these really cool things here. You get to make a little four-wheeler. Four and you get three minifigures. And you get, and you can make like a little trailer and a little tow truck. It's for ages five to twelve. And on the back, it shows you some of the different things that you can do with your set. You can make this, which is on the cut, which is on the front, and you can modify it. Like you can make a little ramp here. You can make this little yellow thing and this yellow four wheeler and this red four wheeler. Um, but a lot of times. I buy these sets for my kids, and there will be at least two or three uh, specialty pieces in here that they don't have, and they will build the set. They always build the set, and then later on they will take it apart and they will use some of these pieces to um, combine with other, with all the Legos that they already have from previous sets, and they build all kinds of new stuff with them. They're always coming up with different things that they can make with their Legos, and it's really cool. So there's always at least, you know, there are always at least a few pieces in each set that they'll go, oh, I don't have one of these. I need this to make whatever, and yeah. So 
it's kind of cool to see some of the things they come up with. So it's um, a nice little set here, and you know it has quite a few pieces. And so that was one of the Lego sets I bought. The other one is under some crinkly chocolate. Now this one I like a little better. I like this. This I had actually never seen this one before. Uh, this is a pizza van. So it's like a food truck that has pizza. And this one comes with 249 pieces. But I think it was the same price. Um, I think they were both like $12.99 each or something like that. And see, it has a little man, and he's opened the window here for business, and he's making pizza, and then you can just come and purchase the pizza, and he will make it and give it to you through the little window there. And he even has a little delivery moped where he can make the pizza, and then they can deliver it. He's in the van. He could just drive there, but whatever. Oh, and look, it has a little umbrella stand here where you can sit and eat your pizza. That's neat. And here's the moped again. I like that. <laughs> the little delivery moped. He's back there working away. You can see where it swings swings out to open up. And um, yeah, it just, that just caught my eye. I had never seen the pizza van delivery set. <laughs> it's really spiffy. It's, it's yellow and it has a red stripe and then red on the top. So it's, that's kind of cool. I like this side here, too. I can see my kids using the chassis of this thing to build some kind of war machine, like a tank, or who knows what. <laughs> They'll make something out of it. So those are two Lego sets that I bought. And I'm actually thinking I have more stuff for my younger son than I do for my older son. So my older son may get both of those sets. Now my younger son has asked for some uh, clay that you can bake in the oven. He's asked for that several times. Um, he does have some modeling clay and he likes to make all different kinds of things out of modeling clay. <clears throat> but it's just, you know, it's just regular modeling clay that I picked up somewhere. He wanted some that he could bake in the oven. So I bought this, and it's quite heavy. It's a, a pound of original Sculpey oven bake clay in just plain white. Um, and so you can paint it like you, you make it, and then you bake it in the oven, and it has the instructions on here on how to do it. <clears throat> You bake it on oven-proof glass or metal surface at 275 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes per one quarter inch of thickness. And then when you're done, you can actually paint it and decorate it. So, I thought this would be something useful that he could um, make stuff with. You see it comes in these little, little, little round cylindrical pieces. So I have his... Um, oven bake clay and I also picked up this while I was looking at clay this is also from Sculpey Sculpey 3 this is crafty clay <clears throat> now this actually comes in a bunch of different colors in this particular set we have black candy pink just orange red hot red purple actually it looks green Emerald. Oh, they've, they've swapped the purple and the emerald. <laughs> white. Yeah, they've whites down here. Red. Tan. That's yellow. They're all mixed up. <laughs> well, red, white, tan, beige, yellow, blue, and chocolate. And this is also oven baked clay, but it's different colors. And you get, you know, you get a little, um, a little block of each of the colors that they have listed here. Um, and then it comes with a little stick, I guess, for something. Um, what is it? Oh, it includes two modeling tools. I only see the one. Oh, no, it's two. There actually looks like two sticks in there. And then the different colors of modeling clay. So this is also clay that you can bake in the oven. 
but it's just some different colors. So he has a bunch of the white clay and then he has some of different colors as well. And this is pretty heavy. This is some, let's say it's about a pound also. So he will get the clay that he keeps asking for. <laughs> oh, this is for my older son. It comes in this beautiful black velvet pouch. And this is really nice. I don't know how long it's going to last. I also got this on Wish. He um, loves pocket watches. Now this is an overwatch. I don't know if you can see the symbol here. The overwatch pocket watch. And it is metal. It comes with this long chain. You can actually wear it around your neck if you wanted to. It comes with this long chain. And I had, I bought him a pocket watch previously, but the battery died in it and there was no way to open it to change the battery. So unfortunately it doesn't work anymore. So you open it up and it's already ticking. It was ticking when I got it. So I don't know how long the battery will last. I don't know how long it's been going and from looking at it, I don't think there's really a way to open it and change the battery. So it may be doomed. <laughs> but anyway, I got this really pretty um, Overwatch pocket watch, which he specifically asked for. He loves Overwatch and he wanted a new pocket watch. So, and it comes in this cool little bag. Visuya. Um, oh, this is in really loud plastic. I'm sorry. This is another um, Bendy in the Ink Machine character that my young my younger son asked for, and this is Boris <clears throat> from the video game Bendy in the Ink Machine, and he's just a little plush dog character you see he's not very big and again he has the little hands kind of like Mickey Mouse and his white overalls he's um he's just a little black and white dude <laughs> <clears throat> so he asked for Bendy and Boris so he's getting Bendy and Boris <laughs> <clears throat> Here's one I actually forgot to open. I just saw this. I honestly don't know what it is. I'm going to open it and show you. Oh, what do you know? A little bit more. This is not from the sister location. This is the original. You can see now Nightmare Foxy looks like this. Like he's all ripped open and you can see the mechanics. And there you can see the metal parts. And Nightmare Freddy is the same. And they always have these big scary mouths like her and red eyes. He's very soft. So he's got that going for him. Although it looks like somebody bit part of his ear off. <laughs> but he's incredibly soft. He's actually quite cuddly if you don't look at him. He can't help it. He's messed up. He didn't ask for that. So this is Nightmare Freddy. That's the last of the plushies, I think. Yeah, that's the last. <clears throat> and these are for their stockings as well. <clears throat> now I got these at Aldi. <clears throat> these are some of the uh, German chocolates. Now they're wrapped in aluminum foil, you see, and they're all different sizes. <coughs> I'm sorry. And we have these strings. You can actually hang them from your tree if you want to. And in the back is a big Santa. This is quite a bit. <coughs> so I have enough in here to divvy up and put in their stockings. I have one more thing and it's really heavy. This one's for me. 
Ooh. Now I got this on Wish. This is something that um, Lego makes. If you're to if you buy the Lego set, it's $120 on Amazon. I got this on Wish for $40. It's a Lego Volkswagen bus. <laughs> the official set, like I said, is about $120. And I really wanted it. That was going to be my Christmas present to myself this year was the Lego Volkswagen bus. Which I've always wanted. And up until this year, it was about $160. And to me, that was just too much. I didn't want to pay that for a Lego set. But this year they dropped the price quite a bit to $120 for the set. And I was going to get one. And then I saw this one uh, on Wish for $40. Now it's a knockoff, clearly. It's called Lepin. L-E-P-I-N. Then it has like Japanese up here. But it's uh, it comes with the big instruction book. Which is this big thing. And all the pieces and all the bits come in these individual bags. And it came to me in this giant Ziploc bag. So I'm going to wrap this. This is going to be a Christmas present to myself. I cannot wait to put this thing together. You know, my kids are going to fight me. They're going to want to, they're going to beg me to let them put this together because they love doing that. And I'll probably let them help. Maybe. If they're good. But I'm actually pretty good at putting Legos to, the Lego sets together. I can do it. So, um, this is the last present. I have a cat that just jumped up here. Look at this kitty. Say hi, Ruby. Hey. Hey. She's sitting on the stool with me. So that's actually the last, um, present that I have right now. Like I said, I, I have ordered some that have not come yet, um, but these are the ones that I have for now. So pretty soon I'm hoping to get them ready to be wrapped and then we're going to do a gift wrapping video together and we'll wrap them together. So um, thank you for coming to see all the things that I've bought recently and um, Really soon we'll get together and we'll wrap them and we'll get them under the tree. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day.